So, hello everyone. Um, we have Ciel today with us um, to talk uh, about the central notice banners. She is going to present herself, but before I'm going to present her a bit, our folks group. So we are a group of 18 women. Uh, we meet... Um, Okay, so we meet, we have this, uh, we do many activities, but we have the, um, once a month, we have the working sessions, we meet all and um, talk or um, make a workshop about um, different topics. And uh, today is our last working session of 2023 because in December we have the end of the year party. Noni uh, is going to give you the details of the end of the year party, but before um, I would like uh, to say something uh, regarding, <laughs> why are you looking like that? <laughs> Yeah I, yeah, I was going to announce the end of the, your party, so... Yeah, yeah you're you going to do that. Yeah, I, I don't, I, I yeah, I don't have much more to say than that then. <laughs> so we will have an end of the, your party on the 14th, I think. Well, in two weeks from now. Um, so more information will be sent and provided by Noni Obades. Um <laughs> Also, just as we did last year, we will uh, probably send some uh, information to you, like a survey and uh, to measure some of the feedback from the year. Uh, we are going to add some new people at the beginning of next year. So you also have the opportunity to, prov to propose some names to be added to the group. Um, yeah, generally speaking, it's, it will be a sort of a clean up end of the year um, thing. But for the party, it's just a party. So there will be some some good news and program by Nani. And maybe Nani can say a little word about this. You're on. Uh, just quickly, everyone. Um, we are currently coordinating and planning the party. And we would love everyone to participate in the planning. So I will share on Telegram, I'll share a poll for us to decide on the theme of, of, the, of the party. Um, but yeah, so we'll decide on the theme and then I will, after that, once we've decided, I will share with everyone the, the formal invitations um, <laughs> with just a bit of an agenda to, not an agenda, oh my gosh, it's a party, no agenda. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll share, we'll share more details after we've decided on the on the theme. Um, but yeah, so by tomorrow you can expect a poll message from me with a few theme ideas. And then by the end of the week, we should we should decide on 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 what, what we're going to be dressing up as and what we're coming as. Yeah, she she, she should maybe clarify that the theme is actually the dress code. Yes. Yeah. Right, that the, the theme is the dress code. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Florence and Noni. Now we, um, Ciel is going to start. Yeah, be like, try all to, to focus on what she's going to say because it's so important. <laughs> yeah, for all your events, campaigns. So yeah, you can start, Ciel. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I have a presentation for you today, and I actually went ahead and this afternoon already uploaded it on comments. I have 36 slides, most of them are screenshots, so don't worry. Um, but in case you're curious and you want to look ahead, um, you can flip through uh, the slides in comments or review them later if you want to return to a previous slide. Um, let me share my screen. Okay. Yes, this should be it. Can I get a confirmation my screen is visible? Yes. Thank you. Right 
Okay, great. Um, so, um, banner campaigns. Um, first, a little bit about myself. I'm a um, user SEAL. I've been active in the movement since 2006. I'm an admin on Dutch Wikipedia, on Commons, um, on Papimento Wikipedia, small language. Um, most of I'm all, I'm also an organizer. I organize events. I've been organizing events since 2007 um, and still do. I do things like uh, Wikilos Monuments. I do um, uh, the International Women's Day, um, those kinds of things. I'm a Jane of all trades. I, I like to know a little bit of everything and combine it. I don't have to be able to do it myself, but at least I want to understand um, what it does and what other people do. And I'm curious about the world. It's um, it's it's a never ending learning for me um, to, to learn about others and, and the world around us. Um, I became a central notice admin because actually in 2017, I got quite frustrated because my requests weren't handled in time or not to my satisfaction or whatever. Um, last bullet point is that um, I am not a developer though. I don't know a lot of code um, other than what I've taught myself uh, with recent changes patrol, vandalism fighting as um, admin on the Dutch Wikipedia. That's how I learned Wikicode and um, just learning by doing and trial and error. I am a social worker actually by education. So, okay, so I, this slide is not on comments. I added it just now because I just wanted you to know that I'll have a presentation for you here today on central notices. I have time for questions, and then we're going to do a central notice banner um, re requesting exercise. So please bear with me through uh, my next slides, and then uh, we'll get into the fun stuff. Uh, my presentation um, will be from the higher level up to the most lowest level. So I'll first paint you the outlines of requesting about banners, and then we'll guess get to the requests themselves. So banners are one of the um, multiple mass communication tools we have um, in uh, MediaWiki um, to our disposal. Another one is um, uh, the mass message um, that goes uh, to talk pages of people. Um, and there's also an extension available through Meta to send mass wiki mails to everyone. Um, you need special rights uh, for all these kinds of mass message tools because they are very powerful tools. And um, uh, I have um, actually already diverting from my scripts here, but I have one sticker that says, um, I broke Wikipedia and then I fixed it. And that was because I ticked a wrong box, setting up a central notice campaign and delayed um, global traffic to Wikipedia for uh, two hours until um, someone from the Zeit Resilience team ticked me over the fingers and, and said, don't do that again. Then um, there are um, uh, other banner types that you can use. Uh, there's um, on uh, through Media Wiki software, um, you can do the watch list summary on the top of the watch list of a certain wiki, and you can do a Media Wiki site notice. Those are all local. So if you, for instance, um, are editing um, or, or are an admin on uh, Igbo Wikipedia, you as admin can enable these on your local Wikipedias. You don't need a steward or a central notice or a request. You just have to make sure that your community agrees and your fellow admins agree. And then you can turn this on just for your Wikipedia. You're totally in control. The site notice actually looks like um, uh, the central notice. The big difference between site notice and the central notice that I'll be presenting to you about today 
is that site notice are, uh, as they call it, a front end um, tool that are enabled on the front end. Central notices are on the banner side, the back end of things, and which was actually why my central notice banner was able to delay the slow down the global traffic because it was on server side. It's a powerful, powerful tool. Click. Yeah. So global banners, uh, central notice banners are, are mainly, um, are often used as global banners. Um, two examples here is uh, Wikilos Monuments. Another one is uh, Wikimedia Foundation Board of Trustees elections. Um, th those all um, are, are enabled through Meta um, on a global scale. The central notice is a tool for providing information in banner campaigns for targeted audiences. So we target people. We use selection criteria to decide on who are we actually, who do we want this banner to see? Who who do we want to see this banner? Whatever. Um, it is on Meta, and um, it was actually started because of fundraising. Wikimedia Foundation um, was looking for a tool um, uh, to do fundraising. Um, and then Wikilos Monuments, which in 2012 um, had the first um, global campaign, actually said, hey, we, we'd like to use that as well. Just looking at the uh, another AI. Um, everyone can actually request a central notice through Meta. Um, it is up to a handful of central notice admins and stewards that will actually uh, attend to your uh, request. We, I think at the moment we are four um, that actually actively work and handle all these um, requests. thing to realize when requesting banners and also in the rest of my presentation is that actually since 2012 there has been very little development on the central notice tool um we we are working with 10 year old software um for doing this so sometimes central notice can misbehave we cannot do the things you'd like, or we'll say, well, central notice cannot do that, but we can script around it. So we'll we'll try to be creative and, and address requests of communities. Um, it can, so the developers uh, amongst the stewards and central notice administrators actually find it a challenge to address special requests as long as they are requested long enough ahead. So functionality, why? What what can um, central notice banners do? So for understanding this in the rest of my presentation, it is important to understand that we use two different words for the thing that is referred to as central notice. A central notice exists from a campaign, which is the technical settings, and a banner, which is the visual representation. So the things you see here is the visual representation. These are the banners. The things I will show you soon is about those technical settings because that's also what we need to know when we address a request. We can do different things with a campaign. So we can um, target um, Wikimedia projects. We do languages of user settings. The geolocation, um, uh, we can say, well, it's only sh it should only be displayed to 50% of the visitors to this project and this language. Um, we can target mobile or, or only desktop, um, whatever you prefer. Um, and there are different campaign types, which allows, as it's quite new, which allows users to opt out of, of certain um, campaigns that we set. So maybe you are not interested in anything about governance, like very 
boring um, movement strategy and um, movement charter development stuff, but you do want to see everything about writing competitions and article creations. Okay, you can opt out. And that's why we now um, set uh, different campaign types to the campaigns. But that's an admin stuff. You don't have to be concerned about that. Just know it is possible. So the functions in expert lingo is um, that we uh, display in JavaScript or CSS. Um, we can do a clickable graphic um, as long as it is not a complete one picture because pictures don't scale on mobile. Those are difficulties. Um, and we'll, we can use um, magic wo words, media wiki configuration, or um, uh, we can script in uh, certain um, uh, wishes from the community. Um, Wikimedia Germany is now um, target, uh, uh, piloting um, to target subcategories. And I'll, I'll give you an example of that um, in a bit. So what does it all mean? Examples of functionality is we can um, have a banner for all accounts which um, that have indicated that they want to be recognized as she. And those accounts have been created less than three years ago, but or just made between 10 and 50 edits per month in the last year. This very specific group will be the only one that sees the banner because it's an invitation to follow up or it's an invitation to join your newbie event. Same thing goes for the other. Notify readers of articles or marginalized topics in a region to a nearby editor on the same topic. Um, we can do a um, invitation of active editors who read Wikipedia articles on chemistry to the Wiki project chemistry. Come and join our Wiki project. Or notification for all functionaries, functionaries to join UCSC functionaries meetings. So we can target only um, everyone that has um, admin status, um, admin rights, or higher admins, bureaucrats, um, ARPCOM. Um, you know that we say, okay, but this this may not be of the interest of others, or we want to highlight this message to these functionaries specifically. So we, we can target, nowadays we can do it quite um, on target. So getting to those campaigns and banners. This is what I see, and this is what you can see um, as well. If you um, go to the meta page, um, I'll, I'll share the link with you in a bit, or maybe um, someone from the support team can do that on meta. This is what I see. You can see that as well. I can edit it. You just don't have edit rights. Everything in green is an active campaign right now. Um, and the rest is either um, a past campaign or a um, upcoming campaign. This is what a campaign looks like. This is what I meant with the technical settings um, from the back end. Yay, thank you, Efek. Um, this is what a campaign looks like from the um, back end for me. Um, I need to know a start date and a start time, an end date and an end time. I need to know what projects. There are 15 here because um, we have a test wiki uh, activated here as well. Um, we can do languages. There are um, 443 languages at the moment in our system. Um, and um, uh, not all of them work that well. Some are older, some are different scripts. Um, you, but just so you know, once we have the ISO code of the language, we can target um, uh, very specifically that language. Um, we can geo-target. Um, most of the time, um, especially in Europe, it is only per country. Um, in Latin America, um, certain countries in Africa, um, we can target uh, per province. In uh, America, we can target by state level. 
um, and it's actually very, very valuable. It's just when you have those regional conferences, it's easy to let people know. It's it's whether they edit comments or whether they do um, English Wikipedia or they do or they do um, some kind of uh, wiki quote because they recently joined. She said um, they will see that banner. And um, that's the difference with site notices. They will only display on your local wiki. Um, central notice campaigns are global. And listen to these settings. So there's the rest of the list. Um, we can assign uh, different banners. We can assign uh, several banners. Um, and then we get to the banner ses settings. As mentioned, banners are the visual representation of what you uh, see uh, on Wikipedia. So we can display it to logged in or anonymous or both. Um, we have uh, four different, five different functions, Android, uh, iOS. Um, there's some tips and toolings. And this, dear people, is the code because we don't do wiki code because it is central notice is a server side banner. It needs to be um, created in HTML, in CSS and um, a bit of JavaScript. So um, me not being a developer, I cannot code this myself. I am very happy that we have a few um, uh, standard banners that I can actually clone and uh, adjust to uh, what what is requested. There are a few magic words, as mentioned before, that we can code in uh, and we can use to even be more specific in who we targa target, uh, where we target, um, and media wiki also allows for the uh, same kind of um, specificities. I'll, I'll show you this um, after we're done with uh, the questions. I'll show you how this works. I'll jump into live and I'll just let you see a few that are now live. Something new that my colleague Der Hexa is working with on German Wikipedia is subcategory targeting. Um, this means that, for instance, you can um, show the banner to the people that are reading um, articles, everything in the category tree under um, woman, for instance. So you use the category tree on Wikipedia to be very specific in your targeting. So not all of the community, for instance, English Wikipedia has a very, very large community. Um, they don't want to see each and every uh, banner um, and you can be very uh, direct to them um, to get their attention. Okay, going down one level. Let me just get a quick. Yes, that is when, when someone is reading um, an article. For instance, when someone is looking up um, uh, the article on... Um, well, name, name, name a woman, Florence Nightingale, sorry, just um, associative thinking. Um, Florence Nightingale, it's, it's, it's when they look up that article uh, and, and then they will see the banner because she is in the category tree somewhere underneath the category uh, uh, women. Um, so yeah, you can target very specifically. Yeah. Lower level is requesting a banner campaign. Where do you request? Affect just shared it with you already, the central notice slash request page. Um, you see a section that says create your campaign request and actually you type the title of your campaign request there and then you'll get um, an empty template and you'll be asked to um, fill in the sections um, in the template. The name, please let that be. <laughs> campaign description, 
what what are you going to do? Is it a writing competition? It's is it a photo upload? You know, because we need to set that campaign um, uh, type. And um, uh, please uh, a link to a discussion in the community, especially with larger communities. French will be the same, but but English as well. Um, like larger, just you know, a notification that you um, did in the village pump um, and said, well, people. I'm going to request this banner campaign just to notify you. Here's the link. And um, um, please speak up if you do not disagree. You don't You don't have to have a full discussion. Sometimes English Wikipedia, it will become a full discussion. But actually, if no one responds to your announcement, we see that as consent. Um, the start of the banner campaign needs to be in uh, the dates, not the planned event, because we'd like to know everything about the banner campaign. The planned event is your thing, not ours. And two is also the end date of uh, the requested end date of the central notice banner campaign. There is a central notice slash calendar as well. Um, we emphasize to use this to avoid overlapping campaigns. Wikimedia Foundation is also actively using that calendar to, um, uh, to schedule uh, to show when their fundraising campaigns happen, uh, because fundraising campaigns, fundraising banners actually have have priority over community banners. I would wish it was different, but we we need the money. Very simple said, we need the money, and if that means that um, you have to change your banner just a bit to accommodate the fundraising banner. Um, the other way around, Wikimedia Foundation is very happy to work with you and to um, uh, to try and adjust if the, if there's time enough for them to change their dates. That they're happy to do that as well. They're they're not the bad guys uh, when it comes to this. Yes, thank you for sharing. I think so. Project targets. What wiki projects would you like to target? Um, uh, doing um, um, wiki quote on um, targeting comments maybe does not make that much se sense. Um, Wikipedia, you want to because yeah, that's that's the larger chunk of people, um, and of course wiki quote. You know, if you do a C shared wiki quote, of course all the way um, as as global as possible. So the language target. Um, as I mentioned, we can do um, most languages that are recognized uh, in the world. As long as there's an ISO code, we, we should be able to um, to target it. Um, however, it is quite impolite to target a, um, for instance, German uh, German Wikipedia with an English language banner. Um, if you decide to target specific languages, please make sure that your banner allows for translations. So community can work with you, or maybe you can even prepare it with um, community organizers um, to to have the banner translated in their local language. It's it's just it's just more polite. You're showing a banner on their their uh, project. Please please just make sure you have translations. The user target is the campaign should either be uh, displayed in logged displayed in logged in or in an, to anonymous users. We are um, we don't target anonymous users that easily because again we need them for the central notice banners from Wikimedia Foundation. The fundraising banners needs to stay need to stay um, uh, effective, so we cannot show each and every banner to anonymous users. Um, fundraising banners are never shown to, to logged in users, always to anonymous users. Um, and sometimes um, the goal of your activity is just for experienced users. Well, then maybe anonymous users are not your target group. So let's not target them because they also draw in a lot of vandalism or a lot of um, abuse of our projects. So. Maybe you want to decide to keep it safe, to stay safe and just do logged in. Country target already. Um, where do you want the banner to be shown? 
And then the last part of the template is a banner choice, um, a landing page link. Uh, we A ban landing page link needs to be in a domain that is owned by Wikimedia Foundation or um, a recognized affiliate of the foundation. So that means you are allowed to use a um, um, your your uh, local wiki, your your affiliate uh, wiki. You're allowed to do all Wikimedia Foundation wikis, um, but not a um, direct link to a Google survey form. People don't appreciate that. They want to have a landing page on Meta where they can click and make a conscious decision to go to a Google form, for instance. Um, the other three metrics grant have grant link. Officially, I have to say, please add the links, but I never look at them. <laughs> I don't really care about them if if I um, think it's just justified. The rest of the information is enough for me. You know, it's you don't need to have a grant <laughs> to get a, a, a banner. That's WMF stuff. That's not central notice admin stuff. We can do a lot of different things as well, um, but these are um, the diet, the weight, priority. Um, that's all central notice admin settings. You don't have to be concerned about that. You can, um, if you take a look at the calendar, you, could, you will see that um, both um, uh, the Wikilos Africa for next year as um, International uh, Women's Day have comments on the diet and and the weight because um, it helps uh, the system and it helps the central notice admins that set up the, the campaigns for them um, to decide, okay, but how, how many times are we going to show this banner? Um, how much weight should the banner have? So uh, how, how often, again, should it be displayed? Um, priority, most of the time we set normal priority uh, unless there's another banner that runs in high priority, we'll set it to low. Emergency banners are um, like, okay, in, in two hours, everything, all um, uh, wikis will go in um, only editing mode, uh, only um, uh, reading mode, because we found this very high um, vulnerability in our systems and we need to do an emergency fix that cannot wait. So that's that's the developer side of it. That's those are emergency banners. We as central notice admins committee uh, community banners, they're never emergency banners. Um, and actually, usual display. I see my fellow admins do three to five times per week. Um, it is not most of the time. This is not how I set a banner, um, and I can dive into that a lot with you. There's very interesting research done uh, by the Wikilos Monuments team about um, how many times a um, person has to see a um, banner to click on the banner and to actually visit your landing page. And that's very different from the rates we see with fundraiser banners. But I think that's a discussion for a different time, but just be aware of it. We can, we can switch with that and we can change with that. And sometimes, different admins will have different priorities. It also depends on how busy um, it is with the banners. So yeah, combination of HTML, CSL, CSS and, and JavaScript. Just gonna script through this. Um, this is, as I mentioned, this is the standard banner that I most of the time use. I need a logo. I need a recommended, a, a, a line of text uh, ideally between 50 and 70 characters. Um, I want to emphasize that this preferably is a call to action. So um, International Women's Day is here. Join us. And then join us is the link. So that's a call to action. You want people not only reading your message, but doing something. Sign up, join us, um, give money, read more. Um, uh, that's that's a call to action. That's what you want in uh, in their banner. Um, script, yeah. I need a landing page. I need a landing page as well. Um, some people like to design uh, their own um, banners. Yeah, it's okay as long as we 
um, or, or in addition to a, the standard banner. We can code that in. And this is actually, if you um, fill up all the fields that I mentioned just now, if, I fill, if you fill up all the fields, this is what your completed uh, filled up request will look like. So you'll have um, the name, the campaign, the, the project target, the language, um, banner choice. And yes, this is what it looks like. But then you're not done yet. Because don't forget to copy and paste the page title and add it to the request page because otherwise central notice admins will not see it. So that's quite um, important. And then what's your request page? Um, um, once we are uh, a few days before your campaign was about to start and you did not hear back from us, um, we'll get back to you with a, a preview at least of what the banner will look like uh, when it goes live. Um, if you have not heard from us, just just ping one of the, the admins and, um, and maybe there's something wrong or, or something went wrong with adding your um, request to this page. That was it from my side. I was actually curious, listening to what I've shared, what are your ideas for campaigns? What would you like to use the central notice banner for? And maybe you have questions for me. Well, first, thank you very much, Ciel. I think it is, well, for me, it was very, very, very clear. Um, I, yeah, I was curious about this subcategory thing. I didn't know it at all. Uh, I need to, to take some, some time to think about it. Uh, why, why, what are the Germans more precisely using it for typically? And why, why did they come with this idea? Um, well, they... yeah, what does, where does that come from? In fact? I think it's because uh, their hexa works. Uh, so their hexa is a uh, steward since 2005. And he actually works with Wikimedia Germany as well. Wikimedia Germany uses the banner for um, fundraising. They are uh, one of two uh, chapters uh, in the Wikimedia movement that actually raise fundraise money through the central notice banners. And um, I guess Martin is just in a very privileged position that he can do this kind of stuff for the communities as well. They use it for Frauentreffen. So that's actually the women's meetup in Germany. So it is where they use, they target everything that is under the category female. Everyone that reads it gets invited to the monthly woman uh, meetup in Berlin. It's it's really it's 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 that easy. It's not it's not like if I I had to proofread um, Martin's um, manual and said Martin, I'm a social worker. I'm not a developer. This is this is complicated. But from the front end, it is very very valuable because you don't have to target your whole Wikipedia. Hmm. Hmm. But it only works with. Wikis that have a good category tree. Because you are reliant on that category tree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you create um, a list with, uh, for instance, PetScan. You can create a list of all subcategories that needs to be targeted. Mm -hmm. Yes, so ladies, any question? Yes, goodness is asking a question via the chat translation. Yes. Um, so, um, 
Okay, Flora, mind, you are screen sharing. Mind if I take over screen share? Sure. Let me... Um... Because um, actually, that that's that's one of the parts that um, I have in my exercise as well. But I can show you. Um, let me see. Oh wait. Because sorry, I need to get a different window and it doesn't allow me to cancel screen share. Um I need to get So I'm happy to address the questions of translations. Are there any other questions before I start screen sharing again? Can I just go ahead? Three, two. Uh, I, I'd like just you to insist a little bit on the, um, well, I, I'm, I'm th thinking of, of the, of the, 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 the issues that we met in the past few years, um, maybe insisting a little bit more on the importance of looking at what is already planned and what you might overlap with to yeah. anticipate. So they need to do that well in it to submit a new request well in advance and, and uh, not doing it at the last minute for a whole bunch of reasons. And um, the, the diet system, I now get it, it but I think it's I, I, important. The, well, so, so we already discussed that that part. It's it's that, very yeah. important, and uh, and also when we see the calendar with all the different all the different banners, uh, it's also a way to understand better um, why certain diets are decided. And yeah, the translation is still painful to me. Uh, yeah. So this is actually because I think we still have forty five minutes or just about. This was my proposal for a um, exercise for today. So I think we're eight people, eight women here today. Let's practice. Let's request and create a central notice banner campaign for Weekend of Africa 2024. It doesn't, of course, you know, it doesn't have to be the real one, but let's practice. What, what is needed when you actually do request this banner? So, um, uh, just to share with you, this this was, I was on this slide, the Let's Practice slide, and my final slide that you'll find on comments as well is a, a quick links um, bank with uh, all different links. Um, last bullet there is a list of alternative ways to central notice banners to reach people in the Wikiverse. Maybe when you attended uh, Wiki in Daba. Uh, or uh, Wiki Woman Camp in India, you heard um, about the events discovery team. Um, I added that link as well because they have quite a good overview on that one specific page of all the different ways that you can use it. It mentions central notice, but also the site notice that I referred to, the mass message. Those they they are all on that one page. I I love that they did that. Is, is there someone in the group who volunteers to actually do the screen sharing and do it live? And uh, I, with I, the support of... Would yeah, you I, can do, I, can, I can do the screen sharing because I actually want to set it up for you as well. I want to, you to be able to see um, what you are requesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let me switch. <coughs> to my browser. Um, so, yes, there it is. Um, it, 
if you look for central notice on Meta, this is the page where you will land on. It has a lot of links. Um, it has um, the banner request page and the campaign calendar that uh, Blas just referenced to. Users guidelines, which are um, like the rules that we have. Why, wh how do we make certain choices? How do admins make certain choices? to help you understand what we do. Thanks to Florence and Ayla um, input, I there's now also a page with frequent asked questions. The very, very basic stuff. What is the difference between a site notice and a central notice? Um, how far in advance should I request? Uh, those kind of things. Very happy to add um, questions here and answers um, if they are needed. If you want to see what I work from, it is admin interface. Now I need to get to my, yes. Um, I, as I mentioned, you should be able to see this as well with your account. You just don't have edit rights to this page. Everything green is at the moment an active campaign. Everything in white is passive, it's not activated. So you can see there, a lot of fundraising banners being tested. English Wikipedia fundraising is coming up soon. So they're now testing uh, the banners. Um, let's see that she said. Um, for instance, um, the she said campaign at the moment is live. This is what I mentioned. This is the campaign, the technical settings for the campaign. This is uh, the She Said banner that we are now using to target Wikipedia. Um, she Said, uh, in this case, is requested for 37 languages. So they are all manually selected. Um, the banner is enabled. It has an impression diet. And that means in this case, it is shown six times once, and this is in seconds, I think it's once every 28 days that I uh, had set this because it is Wikipedia. And uh, I have another campaign and banner for She Said on Wikiquote that is shown more often. But to not get into friction with the communities, it is set to a, quite a low uh, diet. She can see there is one banner assigned, and that's the visual representation, what you see on Wikipedia. This is the banner that you see all the time for Wikiquote. And as you see, this one is translatable. Most of the time for all banners, the default language is English. We set it up in English. And what we do, way down the bottom is add a um, translation. This is um, JavaScript code. Um, and that leads to the central notice group on translate wiki through special translate. On media wiki, it goes to translate wiki. And that's how we do all those translations. I'm at the moment, uh, because we decided to reuse the 2023 banner, I could actually also reuse the 2022 uh, translations. And what then happens, as I mentioned, we can give you a preview, even if the banner is not live, we can give you a preview to say, hey, check this one, it's not live yet, but please check is the image the way you want it? Is the text the way you want it? Does the link work for you? And what you see here is that it says help with translations. And that's actually that little bit of code that was way down at the bottom that leads you to translate wiki. And if I here um, do French, it actually says French is already translated. 
you can skip to next because the banner has three parts. You can do the list as well. You can see all three translations. So that's that's just a bit of code. Can, that can, we can you can you can you just go back to the previous previous? You said there was three screens. No, three lines of code. Okay, yeah, here you see the third one. Yeah. yeah. You cl oh, yeah. click on the just please. What who on the hell translated by she said by LD? No, no, no. And she said. No, eh? <laughs> I, I think I think <laughs> I actually noticed that one because actually specifically for this reason. No, 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 don't do that. Oh, sorry. I did the wrong mm. button. <laughs> actually, that's very funny be, that you mentioned that because I've been looking we as central notice admins or translation admins or stewards, they actually all have to push for the translations manually. So let me see if it allows me to pull up. Yeah. Because I noticed uh, the new French translation coming in the other day and I actually did not see, it's, it still says ready. It says, it does not say published because I was like, that's, that's not correct. So um, yeah. It's not flawless. Um, this whole system is not flawless, but the French banner does does not say yet. Uh, can can you LLD. can you show us can you show us exactly how to get to this? What what's the the best travel click, to go click to on that the link. page? Click on the link. Help translate. So no, no, no. I, I go to Meta. What when I, when I launch from Meta? What do I do? A, so the I best way is through the banner. So here, the, the banner is here. You know the banner that shows up in the top? So for the banner, I first need to go to central notice. If I start from zero, mm -hmm. uh, I, mean, I mean, really, most people here, I think they have no idea how to get there. So mm -hmm. normally, if I start from meta, I, I type site notice in the main, in the search system. To correct this translation, central notice. Or... central notice. I click central notice, and then I go to banner requests. Florence, do you want to correct yeah. this translation, or do you want to request a banner? No, I want to fix that translation. I'm trying to find a way to go there. Okay, so that's a very very specific question. Um, and what I would do is. Um, uh, go to the request to to your request. So you requested the banner so campaign. I go to request. Okay. Yeah, then you... I go to click. She said. Exactly. Okay. She said twenty twenty three. And then. And then that's where um, I actually because this is my campaign. Um, <laughs> yeah, I said the preview <laughs> is here. Ah, uh, the preview is here. Okay. And the preview will have that. Um, a translation link as well. And that's the great thing with previews. That's why we share them. So they're at least findable um, for everyone once you know the way. Yeah, but it, uh, it's the preview right. link is in your request. And here you can change the translation. So I was actually, <laughs> I'm very happy to be confirmed that um, uh, that my assumption was correct, that it should not go live like that. Yeah. So there you can and then I you click can on it and then I click on French and then I have my review translations. Then I fix the third. Yeah, you see a pencil. Pencil. Behind the line. I fix, she said. Skip to next. And then I save. You can do it I here. publish. I publish. Yes. Good. And then it should be okay. And then if you, and how do you remind us how you go to this screen? This is um, my, my backend. I think you should be able to see it as well, uh, but it's oh, fairly you, sure, but I always struggle can, to find that. Yeah, page. You can, yeah, but you cannot do anything with this. I have a ticket open. Um, requesting developers to think with us how we can give more power to the community 
to be able to um, uh, to push these kinds of translations to life because you know I I can do Tugalu and I can do like I have the power to to push all these translations to life but I don't speak 440 languages in the world so wow. and Google does not and and Yandex does not and I can do a lot of checking um, but here I see she said is back. But okay. now, if you if you look at these stats, is it for you? Is it ready or is it published? What is this? The is this is this? It says proofreading here in the top. Okay, and you are the and only I, one that can actually put it to published. Yeah. Central notice, uh, central notice admins translate admins people that have translation rights on Meta, and stewards. We can all push to publish, and now it says published. So normally, I do have those rights. Maybe because you did your own translation, because I, I when I correct a translation, I can also not um, um, mark as reviewed if you do your translations yourself. Oh, maybe, yeah. Yeah, you're not allowed to double up. But okay, oh, now okay. We, we we still have 30 minutes. Let, let us request. Let us mm. do a request. Um, I hope um, that already answered at least a bit um, the question about translations. Goodness, is it is it clearer how to you actually do the the translation? The interface that she just showed us. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So then we can create the request now. Yeah. So. Okay, I'm I'm just going to type, and um, you are going to tell me what I should type, and I'm going to help you make decisions. So first of all, what should the title of the campaign be? The one that I thought of was to create a, um, a campaign for to request a campaign um, for uh, Week Loves Africa. Um, so how should we? Call it. Wiki Loves Africa 2024. Can, can I? <clears throat> you will have to delete that afterwards because I didn't really pay attention and I actually created that request yesterday. Oh we yeah, but as long as long as long as I don't use the very. Same... You can delete it afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, and it will will not conflict. So I click okay. create your campaign request. And then I get to this template. Campaign description. What is our the description of the campaign? Florence. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know, hey guys, I'm not going to answer any of those questions because I know how to do that. So do not ask me. The one who do not know how to do it, do it. I, I'm I'm uh, mute. Okay. And if, should we should we keep someone from the lady? It's a it's a test. So it's a test anyway. Okay. So you can you can be creative and talk about flowers and you know buttercup buttercups whatever. It just doesn't matter. It's a test. Hmm? So who wants to go? Clementine, do you want to go? Carol, Oteng, Marlene, who wants to go? I have a question. Is there a um a a? And I may have missed this, but is there a like a word limit to the description? No. Okay. <laughs> I wish we could organize such things. <laughs> okay. When it, Wiki Loves Africa is a competition about flowers, butterflies, unicorns, and rainbows. When is it going to start? When when does this so you know it's it's all of the year 2024. 
But what is the date we want the central notice banner to start? From the 1st March to the 30th of April, 2024. So you want two month long banner. Yeah. And without um, continuous. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What project do you want to target? Uh, Wikimedia Commons. I like that. Rainbows on Wikimedia. We need more rainbows on Wikimedia Commons. <laughs> Okay, so so I have a question here. If if the campaign is um, a photographic camp, like uh, it's a contest, it's a photographic contest. Like, can we add um, other other project targets, or we are not allowed? As long as community agrees, everything's fine with central notice admins. Okay, cool. Yeah. So if you want to, um, also uh, maybe there's. Um, I don't know, maybe there's um, um, a, a wiki voyage, um, oh, would I, wiki voyage, um, French wiki voyage, yeah, let's do that, French wiki voyage, and um, uh, what's another cool one? Where do we need more flowers, butterflies, unicorns, and rainbows? On the Arabic Wikipedia. <laughs> okay. okay, okay, okay. So what languages are we going to target? Because we, we just decided on projects and Wikimedia Commons is a very international project. Uh, um, it's not, not a language uh, project. Uh, it's French and Arabic, uh, French Wiki Voyage and Arabic Wikipedia are. So I assume we want to have French, so let, Arabic. Yeah, exactly. Uh, who has to see French speakers, Arabic speakers, Portuguese. others, uh, Portuguese, and English. Okay. Uh, logged in users or also anonymous users? I mean, uh, can we put all, for example? Is it possible or we need to choose? We can. So um, um, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get to that. Once the, the request is complete, I'll, I'll review as a central notice admin. Okay. Um, what countries do you want to target? Of the African countries. Okay. African countries. Um, metrics, I am not too concerned with your metrics, as in, again, that's WMF thing. Um, banner choice um, is great. I at least need um, uh, a logo, 50 to 70 characters, and um, a landing page link. Okay. So uh, some kind of logo. And you'll uh, 50 to 70 characters of text and a landing page. That's like the basic. If you don't know anything, if you don't want to design your own banner, and if you're happy to go with anything that shows up, these are the three things I need. Um, so, and the, oh yeah, the landing page link that's underneath that. Um, So, and landing page link is a meta, just an example. So you'll have a landing page link that is within the domain. So this actually is complete. You'll see, mm -hmm. here's my details. It will say the duration. And what you then 
have to do for me as an admin to see this is to add the title of this page to the calendar to the request page okay as a template and that's when it shows up on the page i'm not going to 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 um uh, to publish but this is actually the format so you add it as a template and then it gets shown and indeed there's an attention to add it to the central notice calendar as well and um this is the central notice calendar i actually try to keep it as a calendar by order of um, starting date. So people sometimes do it all over the place, but I am always restoring chronological order to try and make sure that there's some logic in this. And um, what you'll see here is uh, International Women's Day. That's mine. You see Florence already requested. We lost Africa. And we, all, we both uh, made a few comments about uh, that can be used by central notice admins to decide on the diet of these campaigns, of these banners. Okay, so I, I have noticed um, as a central notice admin that there was a new request added to the page. I'm going to review this and I'm going to say, okay, that's quite a long duration. Two months, unlimited display of one banner, that's long because if I go to use its guidelines, we have four basic goals, basic rules. Banners have to be as unobtrusive as possible. They have to be as narrow tailored as necessary they have to be consensus driven. So that's where the um, no objection or agreement of communities comes in. And we have to avoid constant use because banner blindness, actually uh, it's a link to the English Wikipedia article. Um, we see that a lot. And banner blindness means that once there's something in the top of your screen all the time, you will not see it anymore. So when you when we display this banner for two months long, it will actually um, decrease the effectiveness of the banner and also of all other banners that will run um, for, for maybe weeks, days at least, but maybe weeks after this banner has ended. So sometimes you want to do... Um, and that's what we call uh, the banner and the campaign diet that we say, okay, as I showed you with, she said, she said on Wikipedia is shown six times every 28 days, six consecutive times. And then someone does not see it anymore for another 27 days. And all of a sudden the banner is back. And then you're like, oh yeah, it's a reminder. That's cool. I'm going to join. She said, I was going to do that. So that's the reminder. With long going campaigns, you, you, you want to have that kind of diet because it is, it is very, very important. Reviewing here, uh, French Wiki Voyage, Arabic Wikipedia, Wikimedia Commons, I can do that. Yeah, um, it's about um, flowers, butterflies, unicorns, and rainbows. And actually, Commons makes sense. Wiki Voyage, French Wiki Voyage, com community agrees. That's cool. And Arabic Wikipedia also says we, we need more unicorns in our um, in our wiki. So that's cool. Um, I can do these four languages, though English English is a big community. Um, but we're, I'm not targeting English Wikipedia. So English should be OK as well. You wish to show banners to logged in users anonymous or both. Um, it says all. That's difficult because how much do anonymous users need to know 
to be able to engage in a campaign about flowers, butterflies, unicorns, and rainbows? Is it easy or is it an expert level campaign? Do they, does, um, I'll, I'll look at the landing page um, that, that has been provided uh, to see if they have tutorials on how to work on flowers, butterflies, unicorns, and rainbows. Or is it just assumed that um, people know how to uh, take good photographs um, to add the content to uh, Wikivoyage to upload images on comments? So does it really, does it work? Um, and what countries will your campaign target? African countries. And that's an interesting one, because for me, as a central notice admin, um, let me just grab a random banner. You see, um, let's not do that with an active one. Um, you might either see it. So, um, create a new campaign. Mm -hmm. um, as you see here, there are African countries, so I need to geo-target. This is the list that I get for, Af for countries. I cannot, I do not have a button that says I need to, I, I should target uh, the African continent. This means I need to go to yeah, Duma. yeah, English Wikipedia and look up Africa, the continent, to see if English Wikipedia for me as central notice admin from Europe has a list of all the Territories and regions, that sounds about right. List of regions, several stage, which one do I need to? It's This is for me, this is a very complicated one because you as coordinator are actually leaving it to me to decide on what countries. So I can just do all of these in the table, but I'm not sure if that's what you mean. So the more specific you can be in your uh, request. So African countries for me is difficult. I need to make decisions on your behalf. If you can just give me a list of all countries or uh, a subsection or a link or whatever makes my work way easier and it's easier for you. I love that you give you you give a um idea. Thank you. Thank you, Florence. And that's indeed how it works. We can do we can do it like that. It's it's more manual work for us as, as central notice admins because we can um schedule ahead, um, but we always want to be around. We just want to make sure that there's nothing that goes wrong when banners go live. So um most of the time it's it's um the uh, central notice admin uh, that has created the banner that will be online uh, by the time the banner goes live or we uh, rely on um, the developers in the United States uh, and the the, fun, um, the site reliability team um, to be able to uh, intersect when, when anything goes wrong. Someone has to interfere and, and turn off misbehavior, misbehaving banners as for instance, that one time that I ticked the wrong box. So let me see if I can very, very quickly in uh, five minutes um, create this campaign. This one. It's... Um, so this is, um, 
uh, this is special. This is a very special campaign. And um, Affect told me it should start 1st of March. Um, just started at midnight UTC. So Ben is always going UTC times. Um, and we said Wiki Voyage. Uh, comments and a Wikipedia and I'll limit that one because it was the French language it was Arabic 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 language and it was Portuguese and we want to have English. Um, And I, um, I know that we have, I think to know that we have Nigeria on the call here as well. I know South Africa is here. Mm -mm. Sierra Leone is South Africa. Who else should I target? Please speak up or be too late for a campaign about unicorns. That's okay. You can put four countries for the unicorn campaign. But you can put Sierra Leone. We never had any participants from there. And Sudan as well, because I don't know if Ola is here, but we have. And Zimbabwe is just <laughs> below. He's a good one. Who else is here <laughs> in the group? Uh, Rwanda. You need Rwanda. And, uh, okay, okay, okay. That's that's enough, though. <laughs> and that's, a, that's, that's a good lot for Unicorn. I think no, not everyone is there, but most. Okay. So now I have this one and I need to build a banner. Um, I have my, yep. This is, as I said, this is the standard banner. This is what I can do. If you want to have complicated banners, please wait for my fellow um, stewards that are way more developers as I am. I am not, uh, I'll make this the uh, test. WAA 2024. Uh, let's make this a bit less screaming. So I'm going to clone this banner. Affect, can you, in the meantime, for me, search for a suitable um, image on comments? Because my images for the banners need to be on comments. Florence, mm -hmm. can you think? Uh, no, not Florence. Florence doesn't want to. Um, uh, Noni. Can you maybe help me with a text of 50 to 70 characters long? <laughs> About rainbows and unicorns? Yes, definitely. <laughs> Call to action. Because okay. you'll explain everything on the landing page. But we need to grab people's attention and um, uh, to get them to join the event. And to click and to land on a landing page is to start reading. They, You want to tickle them. You want to make them curious about what we're doing okay let me put it i'll put it on the chat yep so in the meantime does this, does this one work let's see blue unicorn sinister Ooh. okay <laughs> sounds cool Okay, let me see. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll preview uh, the banner in a bit. Uh, test. So that one goes here. So you'll see this is a different code um, that we normally use in the front end. Um, this is all uh, the banner code, actually. Everything up above is a script, and this is all banner code. Okay, I'll just get 
okay landing page um wiki loves africa we already have a 2024 page oh, look at that beautiful so that one again Mm. Uh, do you need our help i think <laughs> <laughs> Just think that's because it's not that easy. <laughs> and we want to have it translated as well, right? We said. Okay. See if I have the C shed somewhere open still. D -d -d -d. <laughs> I tried, I put it on the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Join the Wiki Loves Africa 2024 petition. Share your wonderful images of rainbows and unicorns from your community. Okay, cool. So if I add that. Be my computer. Guys, I've never created live a banner before. It should work. So, please tell me if I share this with you, if the logo works. And what do you think of the banner as is? Be honest. Uh, the logo doesn't work for me. It's 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 showing banner logo only. Right? Yeah, with me as well. That's strange. Ah, of course. Sorry, my bad. Um, should take this one. Stupid. See, that's why we show you the preview because it is very easy for us to change it still, as long as we have enough time. So if you click on the same link again, it should now show you the unicorn or refresh the page. Okay. Too long for mobile view. Correct. I think if we do a character count, this may be about um, 100 to 150 characters. And 50 to 70, yeah, it's it's difficult to keep your message within 50 and 70. It's it's true. Uh, what do you think of the unicorn? Is it a good image to use? Because sometimes you have um, some people, I did that as well in the beginning. You choose very detailed pictures because they're great and they're so um, on top. Um, but sometimes the detailed images if I show them at 55 pixels, they don't work. I I would actually, I'm going to increase uh, the size uh, just a little bit of the unicorn because I think it's a bit small. 
it is good of it more than color yeah 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 it is and sometimes you want to have maybe you're as as um, florence said well maybe your first banner um you'll have a blue unicorn and maybe in your second banner uh four weeks later you'll have a purple unicorn or a pink one um so that's that's 171 characters how can we bring that down how can we bring down the text in the banner please propose maybe we just start with share your wonderful images blah 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 we remove the first do you do you want to start with that or end with that share mm -hmm. yours now Ah, oh, yeah maybe I don't know. Mm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> this is really, really, this cutting down text is one of the most difficult things I think most Wikipedians can relate. Cutting down text once you have a text limit is, is very, very difficult. But I would, for instance, um, tell, lose, lose the whole date thing. Okay. Because that's on the language landing page, they will not see the banner um, when they cannot share, and it's on information that is available on the landing page. You want them to be able to see in one sentence what they need to do. Don't don't write your full story in in the central notice banner. It's the essentials. Yeah, do you have a unicorn in your backyard? Take a picture and share it now. Or or maybe. Um... Or maybe something like share, um, join the Wiki Loves Africa, blah, blah, blah. Share your unicorns now. The pictures of your, your unicorns now. Too much are in the frame. I, I would propose, um, I, I just, if you keep refreshing uh, the preview link that you received from me, you can see how it looks like on your uh, Wikipedia. Um, uh, <laughs> sorry for the spelling error um uh if you want to have it depends if you whether you want to have wiki loves africa in the title would really depend on the importance of the name wiki loves africa um if you can add it in uh, some kind of um uh image because I can do two I can do two logos but that's that's about the the maximum sometimes I do one on the left and one on the right um so I can do a logo for Wiki Loss Africa as well uh, as long as for instance it's the three letters are very um uh, very recognizable logo um then I would just not I would use the logo as a recognizable mark and not the brand so not the words because actually, I think, do you have a unicorn in your backyard? Take a picture and share it now. Or share it here now. Click here to share it. Because when they click, you have them and they arrive on your landing page. And um, uh, a story I shared with um, uh, some of you maybe in, in uh, Delhi already uh, last month is the landing page is as of much of importance as your message. Because please remember that it takes um, good craftsmanship, good communication skills to grab someone, grab someone's attention and lure them to your landing page. With every step, with every click that a person has to do on your landing page that takes them to a next page, you lose almost 50% of the people that you just grabbed from uh, the page they were visiting on Wikipedia. So please make sure that also your landing page, and I don't have time to get into that today anymore, but please make sure that also your landing page has um, a very short and very recognizable information. Don't um, uh, make a Wikipedia article out of your landing page. That is not what why people clicked on your banner. They, they click because of the unicorns. Oh my God, I do have one and it's pink and I want to share. When 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 is when is the time? How do I share? Um, uh, what do I need? And can I win something? That's cool. You know, that's that's what people want to know. Wikilos Africa, 
you'll follow up with them later. You'll make sure that they get involved and you just, you want to pull them in first. An African unicorn in your backyard. Wiki loves it. Yeah. So um, I think I have to conclude um, my sharing with you today. I hope you all enjoyed um, getting more unicorns um, from Africa um, on comments on uh, the French Wiki Voyage and on the Arabic Wikipedia. Short text is better. Yes, yes, short text is better. Grab people's attention. Um, try with your landing page to pull them into the campaign or whatever you're doing um, to get them to sign up for the event. Um, I know the events team is also looking into a better integration of the new events campaign tool um, that is explained on uh, uh, the uh, the page I had in my uh, presentation of the events team, if they can integrate um, the event sign up link in the central notice banner, we're still looking into that. But again, we are working with 10 year old software. Um, uh, so we, some, we need to code around that and we need someone to figure out the right magic words for us. Um, but Wikipedians love that kind of challenges. So also our developers uh, very much love that. I very I, much I, I have a question for you. Yeah, I have a quick question for you. Yeah. How how much are you um hating us if we ask for the change of the text of the banner several times during the campaign? So as you as you as you noticed, actually the text that is visible in English um, is uh, is easy for me to change. It is when I have to go back to that translation interface, and you're not the only ones. This Wikimedia Foundation does this as well. They, they see the banner go live. Wikimedia Foundation asks our volunteers, central notice admins, uh, quite often to do their campaigns, and. Um, if, if I have to um, check and again set published translations in 88 languages of the central notice banners, that's a lot of work. That that take that can take up like one or two hours out of my out of my day to just make that uh, change work. So okay. for me, it is good because good when I give you when I give you that preview link. That is actually when you can start translating already. So I can just go through once. Or if you have someone on your team that has um, translation rights on Meta, they can do that. You know, but it's 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 that's where the work comes in. Uh -huh. So on this topic, I can help since I have translation rights. But then what you say is that it's a better move if we have, for example, a long campaign, it's a better move to actually set up the four, let's say we want to do four banners over time. It's better to do the four banners well in advance so all of them can be translated at the same time, prepared, and then off you go. It's better. Yeah, to because we, we can push those translations into live before we enable the banner. Uh, as yeah. long as I don't tick the box of, of enable banner, no one will see uh, those translations except for when you um, uh, force uh, the, the view and forcing the viewers, for instance, via the preview link. Mm. I want to insist on something for all of you. I remember a few years ago that was Romain that was doing our banners. And it took me about two weeks to realize that the banners were not showing up on um, on the, the Arabic speaking countries because the translation had not been done. So he had deactivated the banners in the country where there was no translation. And I not only noticed when I looked at the at the, the page views on the landing pages. And I realized that the page views on the Arabic landing page were basically next to zero. It was just what's going on here. So um, we need to remember that they, they might not tell us, but it's very, very, very important to actually take the time to prepare these banners in advance so that we have the time to do the translation to avoid this, this problem she was mentioning of it's not polite to have a banner in a language that you do not understand. I, I have actually um, uh, last week uh, turned off um, 
There was an English language banner shown to everyone on the Philippines mm -hmm. um, to logged in and anonymous users. Mm -hmm. And actually there I intervened and I, I, I tried to leave a message yeah. On, on a request page when I intervene and, and change the diet, also because it was a different central notice admin. I think mm -hmm. they just overlooked uh, taking off the box, but also just to notify, because I know it's a learning curve and all central notice admins, we sure. all know it's a learning curve. Um, so I, I will let you know, I turned off this banner because you're tar targeting yeah. like a big, you're, you're throwing out this very huge net. Yeah only in English, in, in the Philippines. You know, I'm happy to send up a, a translatable banner for you so you can translate as long as you have the landing page translated as well because having it yeah. in French, Portuguese, Arabic and English and only having an English landing page actually yeah. still does not make sense. Yeah. So you want to have at least that landing page with those basic requirements. What is What, what, what are the next steps for the person that wants yeah. to join? Yeah. You want to have that in those different languages as well? Well, every year for us is the same challenge. French is not a problem. Arabic is way more complicated and Portuguese is nearly impossible. We're trying to do better this year with the language ambassadors and hoping that it will help solve this. Maybe we'll see at the end of the year. But uh, that that's an ongoing problem. The translation is complicated sometimes to get it done. I've been trying this year to provide several training about how to actually do translations, uh, but uh, I haven't seen much, much impact so far on better. Funny, the funny yeah. thing is um, that actually sometimes people, um, when it comes to translations, people are more, um, uh, are, are easier to correct a spelling error in your banner. So sometimes... Just putting it up there and setting Just it to quick, publish. You Google know, translate whatever, and uh, you can you can always try. Just just pilot yeah. it and 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 see what happens because sometimes people hey they they are smarty pants the the, the, the people that 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 edit our our uh, Wikipedia's they're smarty pants they want to correct you because you are so wrong. <laughs> Well, thank you. Thank you for That's this uh, terrific. I like thank it. you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for this very terrific um uh, sentence. I'm not now actually going to reuse it every year and year. <laughs> Just make sure because that's also a thing. If you use dates or years in your um banner text, you cannot reuse it. It's it's something that Wikimedia Foundation staff had to learn because they pay translators to have translations done, and then we say, well. We cannot use the 2022 because now it's 2023. And that's actually why this year for the first time, the call for scholarships for Wikimania does not have the dates nor the year in the banner. So they can reuse it for next year and next year and next year. So it saves money and it saves time because Very it's the same banner every year. So the, the challenge for us would be to avoid using the year and the theme of Wiki Loves Africa. Ooh. Otherwise, you can do that with an image, maybe? But we can do that with the image. If we have yeah. a background image that reflects the theme, then we can avoid using the theme. That might be one. Because as you saw, like in the in the in the um in the, in, in my interface in the background, um it's it's uh yeah, the image is just one click. You saw me correct my, my own mistake uh, for having the wrong link. And then mm -hmm. that's the banner, that's not the text. The text mm -hmm. that's that's what the work gets into, the text and the translations. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Good point. You're welcome. I hope this was of value uh, for your people, for, for you and, and of interest. And if there are more questions, please let me know. I'm happy to return um, to a next conversation if, you, if, if it's needed. I think it was very clear. Yeah. yeah, and sure, sure we will have another another like working session, more advanced regarding that. <laughs> <laughs> so, more advanced, I cannot get. If you want to have more advanced, you need to to um uh to invite uh, their hexa. He's the coder. I'm not the coder. If I need special codes, I I'll go to their hexa and say, say Martin, I I want to target uh, users because it's now with the the um. 
again, the scholarship banner, they have a script that says um, only people that have uh, more than 50 edits will see this scholarship banner. Because if you have less than 50 or 100 edits, a scholarship banner will not be of use of you because you will not be able to apply for the scholarship anyway. So the banner, the, the, there's a script in there that has a, an edit count um, for people. We do the same thing for Board of Trustees elections. We set the threshold um, for, uh, for voting as a, uh, we script it into the banner. Makes okay, sense. I've shared Very with interesting. You. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank I've shared you. with you in, in, the, um, uh, in the chat mm -hmm. once again, uh, the very last page has um, a small link repository. Um, yeah. Was it good, Clementine? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Yeah, well, I don't think we need more in depth. I think this is exactly what we needed. Yeah, it's great. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Michelle. Thank okay. you, everyone. Thank <laughs> have, a, have a good good rest of your day and um, please enjoy your um, uh, party um, in two weeks, 14th of December. Please enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.